Hi, my name is Terry. If you do automotive locksmithing, you're probably familiar with the Lishi tools, the Mr. Lishi tools. They're fantastic. You can pick most, if not all, automotive locks and you can read the wafers. They're absolutely fantastic tools. They're actually a very good tool for locksmiths to figure out because you have to, to use a Lishi tool in most of the applications. You're basically feeling the wafers. You're going for the binding wafer. You pick that one first, then you can go for the next binding wafer. That's how you use the Mr. Lishi tools for automotive. They've come out with fantastic tools. They've come out with four tools now. One for five pin quick set, the six pin quick set, also the five pin slage, slage, and the six pin slage. So you can get KW1, KW5, or KW10 I would call it, the SC1 and the SC4. I had the pleasure of testing some of the prototypes. It, the tools made by Mr. Lishi, I tested the five pin and the six pin Mr. Lishi tools on quick set locks. And they say it'll do whether it's got mushroom or spool pins or whatever. It's exactly the same as when you're using regular picks. You put the tool in and you're feeling for which pin is binding first. So basically it's single pin picking, SPP, or they like to call it the field method or the French method. We'll call it the SPP for today. Because of the tolerances within the lock and the inaccuracies of machining, you will find on, let's take a five pin, one of the pins will be binding. And that's the pin you pick first. And the tool is fantastic because it has all your spacing for quick set and the depths. And we know they go, most of the quick sets go one to six. So you can feel with the tool, you can find exactly which one is binding. You pick that one and then find your next one. So it's not always one, two, three, four, five. It could be the third, the fifth, the fourth, the second. You just gotta remember which one's binding first. And it's not the same in all locks because of the different machining processes. There's two reasons I love this tool. One, it's gonna teach you how to become a better lock picker because you're gonna know exactly where you are to feel the binding pin. And the second thing is, my biggest pain in the butt for picking is six pin slage. With the SC4 tool, I didn't have a chance to test that. I've got all the tools coming soon as they're released. It's supposed to be sometime in March 2019. I will be doing a video right away. But the bottom line is I tested the, the five pin and the six pin quick set tool. It works fantastic and you're really gonna uh, learn how to feel for that binding pin and that's the important thing. Yes, quick sets are easy to pick. But the other cool thing is you can not only pick the tool, pick the lock, but once it's turned over, then you can, just like you do with automotive, the tool can actually measure which, uh, what the depths are. So let's say you got a five pin, you picked it over, you measure your pins, you can now cut a key. The cool thing for this is two things. One, if you have a whole pile of locks, you could now make the key and then it'll open all the locks and then you can rekey them or do whatever the customer wants. The other thing is this is going to be fantastic for law enforcement and police. You can pick the lock on site, make a key, and then leave. So that gets into another whole video that's in our uh, series for uh, covert entry. But for policing, law enforcement, it's going to be fantastic for the quick set and the sludge and all sorts of other potential locks. Lishi is calling this their residential original Lishi tools by Mr. Lishi. They're two-in-one picks. They're, they work, and I haven't had a chance to try the slage. I'm looking forward to that. The quick set works. I had no problem picking my six pin and my five pin. Uh, and unfortunately, no video. That was part of the deal. I could play with it, take all the pictures, but no video. But video is coming, and you'll be able to see it working right in action. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.